everyone, so this is a twin flame reading for the week commencing 6th of May. Um, so we're going to look at the feminine and the masculine separately and then see kind of what is going on between them both. So the divine feminines for this week ahead, I'm being told straight away that they need to be patient because as soon as they are patient, they're going to have this ten of cups, we're going to have this happy relationship. Um, I feel like right now they're wondering when it's going to happen. Um, as you're feeling union coming closer, you're kind of starting focusing on on timelines again. You know, time related expectations, which we've worked really hard to surrender and um, really release. So try and stay in that energy. Try and keep releasing expectations of when this is going to happen, and really trust in divine timing. Let's see what else the divine feminines can expect for this week. I feel like right now the feminines and the masculines are very balanced. Um, everything is happening quite quickly and as I say that we've got the Knight of Swords that's come out. So the masculines are going to be taking action towards this Ten of Cups, towards this happy relationship. Which means feminines, this is why you don't need to worry because look at this card, you know, they are on their way. Um, I feel like in the past this masculine has been quite in and out. So the Knight of Swords energy for me feels like... The masculines I'm channeling here have been very in and out of this connection, you know. Thought they want, thought they were ready or wanted, you know, this happy relationship and then backed out again and now they're coming back in. But, you know, that's just them testing the water. That's just the way things have been for them. Um, you know, they have been triggered, they've healed, thought they were ready for union, then realised they weren't, so had more healing to do. But as your mirrors, this means that you both had healing to do. Um, so don't just kind of blame your masculines. I'm hearing it takes two to tango. So it definitely does take both of you to be ready for union before it's going to happen. Two of Wands here. So feminines, I feel for some of you, you're going to be travelling. Um, there's going to be a holiday. There's going to be some kind of movement this week. Or um, you're going to be planning or preparing for some kind of holiday or travel this week. Um, for some of you, this is going to be with your masculine, with your counterpart. For others, it's going to be independent. So I do see lots of feminines actually kind of booking holidays or arranging travel arrangements for themselves um, just to kind of get some time away, realising that they don't need to wait for their masculine. You know, if they want a break, if they want some uh, time off from work or a weekend away, they can do it by themselves. Okay, let's see what's going on for the masculines this week. So what is the overall energy for the masculines? Seven of Cups. So this week for the masculines is all about choices and decisions. Um, I think we know what choice he's going to make because in the feminine's energy we have the masculine rushing back into this Ten of Cups. Um, but we will try and get some confirmation about these choices that the masculines are making. So they are starting a journey the masculines are choosing to start a journey and we've also got seven and eight of cups so i feel like they're taking baby steps just putting one foot in front of the other um you know one step at a time and that's fine you know slow and steady wins the race at the end of the day they don't have to rush but what are they moving towards so they're making a decision to start a journey what is this journey towards the Hierophant and the Hierophant is all about commitment so I feel next week or sorry this week because it's Monday today um, I feel this week masculines are making a choice to start a journey towards a committed relationship for me that is what the Hierophant is all about it is about commitment it's about traditions um, it's about relationships and on the bottom of the deck interestingly we have a Knight of Swords which is mirroring this card here so masculines I feel are going to be making a decision towards a committed relationship and then rushing back into their feminine's life, taking action to make this happen. You know, as soon as this choice is made, I don't think they're going to be spending a long time thinking about it. I think it's going to be action, 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 you know, let's go. They're so close to the finish line right now. So close. Okay, let's see what guidance we have for the feminines. So what guidance do we have coming up? Queen of Cups, so feminines, you're being guided now to stay in this place of unconditional love. Communication is coming in for you, it is going to improve. 
you know the sky is clear now um the thunder the rain everything is you know in the past in this card um and i do feel communication is coming in it's going to improve all you need to do is stay in your queen energy you know, stay in this place of unconditional love and for some of you who don't feel this unconditional love towards your twin flame it just means that your this reading isn't for you um but because that is the energy that i am channeling right now the, the reading that i am channeling here is very much for feminines who are in this place of unconditional love um and those who are close to union close to this action being taken towards this union towards this relationship let's see what other guidance we have here for the feminines seven of swords so there are things that you need to leave in the past so the past is the past it's gone it's dealt with um so i feel like for these feminines i'm channeling you were very much like okay when my masculine returns to me i'm going to say this i'm going to say that i'm going to tell him how he made me feel and now you're like what is the point is there any point really bringing up old situations old pain what what productive thing is going to come from that conversation you know some things you just have to accept an apology that you never received um, and it's hard but it's just something that we have to do and if you love your twin flame unconditionally then you know, there are things that you'll be happy leaving in the past and there's some things that you know you're just not going to have the opportunity to talk about right now maybe further down the line but right now there's some things which there is no need for you to discuss right now the time isn't right so when they return to you you know the time just won't be right to talk about some things um, you're being guided to change your perspective so for, the, for those of you who are thinking um, you know they want you want to make sure that this and that is talked about they're saying change your perspective you know take a break and really think is it worth it is that discussion productive what's it going to lead to what will the outcome be um, you have come so far on this journey you're so enlightened so awakened um, so you know, make sure that you are acting from this place and um, from your you know higher self that using that connection with your higher self to communicate because there's a new beginning here so feminines you're being guided to see that there is a new beginning coming your way um it's already here it's ready for you to take um it's just a matter of the divine masculine making that choice and taking action towards this committed relationship Masculines, you're being guided this week to really free yourself of all these constraints. Um, straight away, I'm hearing in my head that it's financial constraints that are keeping you blocked. So, masculines, you know, it's time to break free of any kind of like worries or concerns. Um, I'm just being told that the universe is going to provide for you. So, you don't have to be a millionaire. Your feminine doesn't want you to be a millionaire. Like, yeah, that might be nice, but it's not necessary. You know, they'd much rather have you in their lives than have you stay apart keeping focusing on um you know on having money all this material success sorry i got distracted because i noticed that yet again after that shuffle we've got the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck here for the masculines this knight of swords is not going away feminines you are right to have this in your current energy because it's here constantly at the back of a masculine's mind the reason why it's on the bottom of the deck is because it's in the back of their mind um which means it is going to happen you know they are constantly thinking about taking action we've just got this decision that needs to be made first and then look this action is coming i would not be surprised if that card comes out at some point in this reading Let's see what other guidance we've got for the masculines so what other guidance do we have for the masculines for this upcoming week two of swords so do spend time kind of on your own again um thinking going within finding those answers within um again don't rely on the material 3d world masculines are being guided now to really spend time um just contemplating just thinking not necessarily meditating because some masculines don't meditate um they meditate through different ways that their feminine does so they'll meditate by i don't know going to the gym and working out or just literally just sat in bed just thinking the chariot card so here we have masculines there being guided to let go of the reins let the divine you know lead them forwards now they're on the right path now and if you look at this deck the way it's kind of broke in my hand we've got the sun here 
and the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is a perfect match here for the Hanged Man in the Feminist Guidance. So, it is also masculines changing their perspective and they're changing their perspective because they're completely surrendering to this connection and as they surrender, the chariot is going to guide them forwards. So they are thinking about taking action and for those who feel stuck, as soon as they have made a choice, they'll be shown the next steps. The chariot is, you know, the universe taking the reins for now um, and making things kind of happen as they're meant to, showing them the next steps. Let's see what blocks we've got coming up this week or if there's any blocks for the feminines. That one wants to come out. Eight of Pentacles. So overall, I do not feel like there are many blocks to this union. Um, again, I'm being guided, you know, we've got the crow here over her shoulder and it's here again in the hanged man. So the crow is a very lucky omen. Um, you know, it is about new beginnings and they're very spiritual animals. So I do feel like feminines, now is the time to really focus on your spirituality. Now is the time to really kind of switch off of the 3D and focus on this 5D connection with your masculine. You know, send lots of healing, lots of love, really clear the energy because there is a new beginning that is happening for you both. Um, feminines, as you keep focusing on yourself, keep focusing on your own life, um, you're going to see that new beginning happen. So the only block for the feminines right now is to make sure you keep the focus on yourself. You know, don't get stuck in these old thought patterns. You know, we've worked really hard to break free of those past restraints, um, of those kind of like self-limiting beliefs. So let's keep up the hard work and don't think now because union's coming close that you can, you know, switch back into those old ways. Let's see what blocks here we've got for the masculines this week. So what are the overall blocks? union this week king of pentacles so i do feel like the masculines really want um and we've got queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so masculines are really wanting this financial freedom this financial success you know to see prosperity in their material world before they take action so i feel for some masculines this week they are going to see an improvement in their financial situations in their material world there might be money coming in or there might be just debts removed and wiped clean the universe can work miracles all the time you know you you would be amazed by kind of like the miraculous things which happen every day um so for masculines who have been worried about finances some of them are going to be getting you know some kind of comfort or um some kind of yet yeah, freedom from debt this week and that's going to put them in an equal match because they want to be in this king of pentacles because in the back of their minds they have their feminines as their queen of pentacles they see their feminine as someone who is very secure you know here she is working hard on her own life on her own money polishing her own pentacles you know what she already has in her life so the masculines want to be able to match that they don't want to feel inferior um which is why they want to be their king of pentacles energy because they do see their feminine as this queen of pentacles as someone who already has a lot and they're wondering you know if she's the queen of pentacles if she already has all of this all this stability what would she want from me what can i give her um so that's why he wants to be in this energy so that's why that is a bit of a block this week Okay, I'm actually going to leave those cards out and we're going to put some cards just on top of them. So I'm being guided to use my spirit animals deck. So this is the spirit animal oracle by Colette Baron Reed. So I want the card for the feminine's energy overall um, for this week. Ooh. Parrot spirit, watch your words. So feminines, you're being guided to really think about what you say this week. So if there is communication, um, really think before you speak. Don't fall back into old patterns, don't fall back into old ways um, because as long as you watch what you say and as long as you speak from a place of unconditional love rather than letting your ego kind of creep its way back in, you're going to see a new beginning or in fact you're going to see an ending, a complete ending to this cycle. So you might face a little test this week um, to see if when communicate, I can't even speak to see if when communication comes in how you react and if you kind of pass this test if you react from a place differently to how you would have reacted in the past you're going to see a complete ending because 4 45 4 plus 5 is 9 you're going to see a complete ending to this cycle 
and it feels like it is an end to a runner chaser cycle it feels like it is a big a big end to a phase right now let's see what the masculine's overall energy is for this upcoming week Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. So the masculines, uh, okay, straight away I'm being told by my guides is that dolphins are excellent communicators. Um, dolphins are also one of the only, I think it's like they're one of the only mammals who can also have sex for pleasure. I don't know why that came to me. I have no idea where that came from. Masculines, ma masculines are obviously thinking very sexually this week because I didn't expect that message to come through. <laughs> okay, so dolphins are excellent communicators. And apparently just as um, interested in sex as the masculines are right now, there's a lot of sexual energy coming through, a lot of kind of sexual frustration in the masculine's energy right now. But I really feel like things are just balancing out right now in this connection. So we're going to see what the energy is for the Twin Flame Collective kind of combined. And these two literally just flipped over and I'm very excited to share these with you. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. So there's going to be big changes this week as you both realise that there is so much love in this connection and I feel like there's a lot of love being brought back into the equation. What do you think the other card is considering what we've had before in these readings? Crow spirit. I knew straight away as soon as I saw these crows that there was a reason for it. So what is happening in the Twin Flame Collective this week? We have crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. So... Um, it does feel like there's new beginnings here. I'm being guided to read the crow message from the book. So we're going to see what it actually says here because that feels like a very significant um, message. I also feel like you might be seeing crows around so make sure you do pay attention to kind of any animal signs. As you look around you can you sense the magic that pulses through the world. Have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing? How every intention can call the universe into action as the sacred laws shape what you experience? The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings and beliefs with spirit, you will want to crow with delight. Feeling the excitement and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself. Crow spirit says you are right on target now to see your dreams magically come into being in the visible world. The laws of abundance, compensation, frequency and praise are operating in your favour now. Remember to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if it is still Koleski in form, still residing in the invisible realms of co-creation. No matter what area of your life you're concerned with now, what you hope for is on its way, for spirit is your co-creation partner. So straight away, express gratitude for what you already have in your life because magic is manifesting in the 3D. What it is you've been trying to manifest it is coming into fruition. You're going to start seeing physical results. Okay, let's have some Romance Angel cards for this week for the Twin Flame Collective that I'm channeling for. I feel very excited for this week. I feel like there's going to be some big changes. Um, as long as the feminines can really break free of these old cycles, you know, not chase, not push, and just give their masculine space to work out, um, you know, what action he wants to take, you know, give him that space to make a choice. Passion. So we are going to see passion ignited this week. I feel like you're going to be kind of, the flame has been lit. We're going to start seeing things happening. Um, there's going to be results and for some of you your masculines are coming in this week to sweep you off your feet so for some there is going to be a physical meet up this week for others it is being arranged yet yeah, this codependency this is what the feminines need to break free of as long as you can break free of this codependent behavior feminines you're going to see some magic manifesting but there might be a little test or trigger this week um you know you have to keep your energy clear so the time has come to clear your energy. Also they're saying stop being so melodramatic. So for some of you, you're really kind of focusing on the worst case scenarios. Um, don't, because the passion is there. The chemistry is there. There's a strong magnetic attraction. And I feel like the magnets are so strong right now. You're literally just being pulled back towards each other. And honeymoon. So again, this is the card of travel. So I do feel like for some of you, there's going to be travel arrangements made. Um, and for quite a few of you, it's going to be arrangements with your masculine. So meeting up together um, or even arranging, sorry, even arranging like a holiday together. 
let's have some moonology cards now for this week so let's see what is going on with the feminines this week let's have a moonology card for the feminines step out of your comfort zone this week is all about feminines really proving that they have stopped chasing their masculine. As long as you can prove that you have stopped chasing, um, that you have changed your, your behaviour, your patterns, you know, breaking free of this codependency. I was just about to ask for a card for the masculines. So as feminines, as long as you can do that. We have the New Moon in Aries card. It's time to take action. We have that Knight of Swords at the back of their mind. It's here in the Feminine's current energy. So Feminines, as long as you can step out of your comfort zone, you're going to see action being taken by your Masculines. Let's see what is happening um, between the Masculines and Feminines this week. A personal issue reaches resolution. So I feel like there is going to be um, a significant change that happens this week. Just going to read that full moon in Cancer card. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. Remember, watch your words, feminines. Um, there are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. It also suggests that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head. Um, also a great time to move house apparently, which is good because I am doing just that very soon. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. So I do feel we're going to see the masculine stepping up into leading this connection. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. So I do feel like there's going to be some significant changes this week. Um, it feels very, very positive for this connection. Um, and I think we're going to see action being taken by the masculines as long as these feminines that I'm channeling for break free of this, you know, previous codependent behaviour. Messages from the masculines to their feminines first. I'm being guided to do. So masculines to their feminines, what messages do we have? You're the light guiding me home. Make sure you rest. So masculines to their feminines for this week, please. Divine timing is working for us. I miss us. And one last message. I know I made a mistake. Feminines to their masculine. Surrender to this situation. Your touch is like no other. I want you in my arms. I'm receiving signs and messages from you. And one final message from the feminines to their masculines. I'm overwhelmed with emotion and need some time. Don't think I am ignoring you. So it does feel like the feminines are needing some time. Um, because they are still working on breaking free of, you know chasing their masculine they're still working hard on healing their you know their own insecurities and stepping out of their comfort zone when it comes to really not chasing you know really letting their masculine pursue them instead but i think we're going to see some pretty miraculous things this week so do comment and let me know if anything um you know really great happens for you this week but I do see that action is going to be taken very soon, this week, maybe next. But, you know, it's definitely coming in for the Twin Flames who are close to Union. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that reading. Um, sending lots of love and light to all of you on your journeys. And I hope you have a wonderful week.